Hello. Okay. So this is for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, how to create a website with Google sites, um, especially for students. So the way that our district does it is that they've all created their own Google site. Um, and then we've generated QR codes that we've then posted on the hallways and things like that, that uh, people can come by, scan, and it takes you right to their Google site. Um, and making a Google site is actually super duper easy. So <clears throat> Um, you are going to need the kits to have some sort of Google, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, account. They're going to need a Google account of some sort, um, whether it's Google for Education or whatever it might be. Um, so if you don't have G Suite for Education, it might be a little bit more difficult. But uh, just assuming that you do or that you have access to that, you're just going to want to have them go to sites.google.com. Um, so sites.google.com. And you will see this right here. Uh, so all you have to do is, and by the way, I'm actually on my not, um, I guess, G, G Suite for Education account. I'm on my personal account right now, um, just to prove that you don't have to have that. But it does help um, for the sake of just synchronicity and all of those things for your kids. Um, anyway, so uh, you go over here to create, and now this is important. So whenever you see in classic sites or in new sites, do not go to in classic sites. It is so not user friendly that it's kind of insane. So you go to in new sites and I gotta switch over the tabs here. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Taking a while, la 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 la. Still taking a while. So um, part of the cool thing about this is that we also, like I said, since we use G Suite for Education, um, a lot of our kids will end up doing things with Google Drawings and Google Slideshows, and they can post that stuff directly to their website, and it will constantly update um, as they work on it just at any time. So it's pretty cool. Um, nope, skip this tour. Go away. Um, so basically, this is it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So you could just change, have them change the page title to you know, whatever, my website or my Google site, uh, whatever it might be, and adjust accordingly. It's pretty similar to any other doc or Microsoft Word or Google Slide thing that you've seen. Um, you can change the image, all of those things, and then you can kind of move away from there and you can choose insert. So you can insert a text box um, and you can tie whatever you want and change it however you'd like and all that. And then maybe you want to uh, insert an image. So you can do that. You can go to images. And I don't think I have anything right now that I can, like that's from Google Drawings or anything like that. Um, but I can just go to search for this sake. Um, and I'll do sea turtle because that's my favorite animal. So sea turtle, um, this one's beautiful. Let's do that. So then I can just insert this image as well. Um, and once it takes a million years to load, uh, it will, there it is, and you can move it around wherever you'd like. Um, so it's actually pretty straightforward. And then, yeah, you've got Google embeds over here. And so say that you or one of the kids wanted to embed a YouTube video. So maybe for <clears throat> a project they had to make a YouTube video, um, you can just put that straight onto here. So for instance, I, I'll do an example. I have a song that I uploaded for my kids um, called the Lunar Cycle Song. Uh, so and there it is right there. Um, so I could just click on this and select on that. And this is just teaching them the phases of the moon cycle. Um, and I have it right here. Now I'm actually on my school Chromebook. Uh, it's actually a student Chromebook. So this right here is just Go Guardian um, thing that we have up. And it's it really has nothing to do with anything else. Normally it would just pop up like normal and you could click play and it will go. Um, you can insert a calendar, a map, different Google Docs, slide sheets, and all of that. I mean, it's pretty, pretty dang cool. Um, so now, say I wanted to uh, add some different pages. So maybe the kid has my Google site, and then they want to have like a math page, a reading page, all of that. They'd come over here to pages. Oh, and I didn't even talk about themes. That's pretty straightforward. You can kind of just mess with that. Um, you can come over here to pages, and you've got your home page, and then I can add a new one and say this is language arts. I click done. And now it's brought me to my language arts page. 
Um, and you can see that it's also popped up here in that toolbar and it pretty much acts the same way as your homepage did. You can change this, the, um, you can change the theme, you can change, you can actually change the background. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that. You can double click on the actual section itself. So right here, you can double click and you can insert things right here. So you can insert URLs, you can change the background of it to some different image. We'll just go, oops. We'll just go with uh, the DNA double helix. That's cool. Even though it's language arts, it's fine. You can oh, insert the image there. I'm sorry. Uh, wrong thing. Uh, how do I do it? Oh, there it is. That little gear shift. You can change it to top navigation or side navigation. I guess I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how you change the background of it, but um, I don't believe it's that. Oh, I think it's upload maybe. Anyway, it's easy to play around with. We can add another page. Uh, you can tell I'm just kind of doing this real fast. Um, science, I'm a science teacher, so we'll add that. Cool. And like I said, you've got your navigation up here. So you can click on language arts and it'll take you to that page and you can edit as you wish. Go back to home and edit it as you wish as well. Um, you can change to top navigation or side navigation. Um, uh, and then you've got the little bar there that's that um, little fancier. Um, they can move different things around as well. So like I said, I just moved that video over. Um, it's really highly customizable. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so really they can kind of just do whatever they want from here. And like I said, they can embed any work that they do on Google. So say they're all working on like a collaborative Google document or something. They can post that. They can just post the link to it or they can embed it directly into here. Um, and the same thing for Google slideshows and all of that. It's, it's pretty cool. And the kids, once they learn how to do it, um, they get the hang of it and it's super easy. So for instance, to do something like that, they'd go insert and then from drive or drive folder, and then they click on something that they want to put on their site and it would pop up. So anyway, that's about all there is to that. You can change the name of it up here to whatever you like. Um, oops. And then you can add editors, but I really wouldn't even recommend it. I would just have, I mean, you or the kids just be the only editor. Um, go to preview and it will show you what it looks like on the internet, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, oh, I think this is what it looks like on, yeah, on different phone uh, landscapes and stuff like that. So gives you a little preview. Um, and then, oh, I thought I got out of it. Okay, I did. You can go to publish. So you click on publish and this will tell you the site location. Um, so for instance, this is, you can kind of come up with your own um, URL here. And so maybe it's just my Google site or something like that. Um, okay, well, I can't do that. Well, anyway, they come up with their own um, URL and then click publish. And as soon as it's published to the web, it's live, it's on the internet and everybody can search for it and all of that. Um, and then what you can do is, uh, like I said, it'll constantly update with any Google work that they do. But what you can do is once you publish it, I don't want to publish this just because it's it's goofy. Um, but once you publish it, it'll give you a link that you can share. And what you can do is you can take that link. And I don't know if you can actually see the tabs or not, but I opened up on the other tab a QR, a QR code generator. And it's really, really easy. So I'm actually just going to put in drive.google.com, just whatever. Um, you, and I just Google, like we just Google a QR code generator, pick on the first one. There's sometimes that you, things that you have to like buy and stuff. It's totally not worth it. Um, just get any or use any QR code generator that's free on the internet. Um, and they can copy and paste the URL from their website into this bar right here and then click create QR code and bada bing, bada boom. It's right over here. And then they can download it. Oh no. Uh, nope, I'm not going to do that right now. I literally just started, um, <laughs> I just literally did this for whatever reason, but I'm about to run out of time on here. So, um, it's now, I understand I'm approaching my limit. Anyway, it's downloaded on here and, um, they can put that 
um, excuse me, that can be saved and printed out and then people can scan their codes. So I'm about to run out of time on here, but I really, really hope this helped out. Um, and let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.